You are watching Real Stream Media News for February the 14th, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to be aware, I want you to be awake to what is really happening. The far extreme, long time liberal left, the globalists, the elite are biting at the heels of the Trump presidency. They are working feverishly to devise a plan to call for the impeachment of Donald J. Trump. The whole Russian espionage uh, scenario that is unfolding with uh, former, he has resigned, uh, Defense Secretary Michael Flynn, a three-star general over a conversation with a Russian ambassador. They are calling now for hearings they are going to try to indict uh, somehow. They are tying Donald Trump in to all of this with uh, Michael Flynn. Again, I repeat, a three-star general over some type of uh, conversation about uh, sanctions maybe being lifted uh, on Russia once you help. And this is their plan. This is their, their scheme their great lie to call for the impeachment of Donald Trump. Once you continue on with uh, rigging the election, uh, sabotaging the election so Hillary Clinton can't become president, Donald Trump, when he's elected, if you do a good job, this is what they're implying, uh, he'll lift all the sanctions against Russia that Obama uh, initiated on your country. That's what's happening. We've seen it through uh, the election when they were trying to say Russia was involved in the elections. Hang on. Ah, the Russian car. This is going back to December 16th of 2016 and CNN, Clinton News Network, Russia. Russian hacking, rather, and the 2016 election. What you need to know. Team Trump disputes intelligence on Russian hacking. Let's look at a few more. They're playing the Russian card. Obama says U.S. will retaliate for Russia's election meddling. You get the idea. You get the idea. And now they think, they believe that they hit uh, a pay dirt. You've got uh, uh, the uh, White House press secretary today saying that there has been no law broken it was just uh, a matter of uh, vice president mike pence not feeling that uh, he could confide anymore in uh, general flynn or michael flynn and uh, there was a, a a break in the trust but the democrats are out in force nancy Pelosi and all of them wanting to bring about uh, hearings over what uh, uh, Flynn may have or may not have uh, said to uh, this Russian ambassador. There are moles, there are rats running rampant through Washington, D.C. and the White House. And you have them, I think, I think on both sides. You've got them on the Democratic uh, Party and the Republicans as well. Donald Trump can trust no one. Someone is leaking this information to sabotage the election and to sabotage him so that somehow they're going to devise a way to call for the impeachment of Donald Trump. But he can't trust even his Secret Service. Look at the one a female uh, Secret Service agent that said she would not take a bullet for Donald Trump. You don't know who. And you got to look uh, in both directions, even within the uh, your closest uh, cabinet. You don't know who is leaking this information and who is, uh, you know, they've been in the power for so long, these career politicians. Donald Trump is not a career politician. This is all brand new to him. And maybe he's just a little too trusting. We know there are leaks. There are moles over on the Democrat side and on the Republican side, even within the Secret Service. Now today it comes out that they're is a Russian spy ship, of all things, uh, off of the coast of Delaware. 
of all things after and it's very strange that this happens today on the heels of all of this controversy with uh, uh, Michael Flynn hang on let me show you don't you find it pretty pretty strange wake up America wake up Russia sends spy ship near U.S. coast to poise ban the missiles at home, officials say. Well, this is just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence. Nothing to see here. Hang on. He said reporting on two sources telling him that there is a Russian um, spy ship now patrolling off the coast of Delaware, about 70 miles off the Atlantic shore there. Uh, for the first time now since President Trump took office, we are learning here. It's a <laughs> spy ship off the coast of Delaware moving about 10 knots an hour. Where it said it, we don't know. I'm just quoting one official. He says the following is not a huge concern, but we are keeping our eyes on it, end quote. And so will we as All right. I just, ha I just had to share that little tidbit with all of you. But what the mainstream, lamestream media is not telling you, but the United States, the United Nations, the United Nations has U.S. military Navy warships all along the coast of Russia and Iran. It's all tied in together. Is this really a Russian spy ship off the coast of Delaware? Are they trying to claim and that's what they're trying to claim but uh donald trump is somehow a remember this came out too he's a kgb agent and uh, he's all for the motherland mother russia and they're they're really doing everything they can they they are going to do their best they are going to come up with uh, impeachment proceedings against donald trump you mark my word i'm just uh wanting you to be informed and let me know what do you think about what be awake we could be on the brink of uh, a major world war or the impeachment of donald trump and now for my closing statement the democrats the democrats there's rats on the loose in the dc are railroading donald trump spies leaking information now calling for a hearing over Flynn's call to this Russian ambassador. They used the fake Russians meddling in the elections. Watched for them calling for impeachment of Donald Trump next. Russian spy ship off the East Coast. It's a setup. It's a setup to oust Donald J. Trump. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to Real Stream Media News. Go ahead and uh, let me know what do you think. Subscribe to my channel.